All right, thanks for watching, and today we'll prove a very neat fact, namely that any sequence, no matter how wild, always has a monotonic subsequence, meaning it has a subsequence that's either non-increasing or non-decreasing. For instance, here, with this weird sequence, there is a decreasing subsequence. And this is very cool and very useful, especially when we want to prove the bolzano weierstrass theorem, which we'll do next time. So, claim Sn always has a monotonic subsequence. subsequence. So monotonic, remember, and non-increasing or non-decreasing. And here's a proof, and I have to say, I usually hate your textbook, but this, I have to admit, it's a very beautiful proof. So it's very lit, and it has to do with a term that's a definition that's called a dominant term. And dominant term, think of it almost as a maximum or a peak, but all that it means is that if a term Sn is dominant, then anything after Sn just goes downhill. In other words, Sn is dominant if, whenever you have a term that comes afterwards, it has to be smaller. So for instance here, Sn is dominant because no matter which term you pick afterwards, it's just definitely smaller than this term. But also here, this term is also dominant because anything afterwards also gets smaller. But this term is not dominant because you have at least another term that's bigger than that. So really think like almost like stocks that go down, so anything goes downhill. Okay, so again, just formalize this. So definition, Sn is dominant if um, there is, for all m, we have Sm is less than Sn. So almost think decreasing, but here again we're fixing n. We're not saying for all m and n. And then, well, it's just a proof by cases. Suppose you have infinitely many peaks. So, uh, case one, assume infinitely many dominant terms. Kind of think like that. Dum, 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 da, 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 okay. Then, very easy, consider the subsequence of all the peaks, and it turns out by definition of dominant, in that way we can get a decreasing subsequence. So, uh, label, uh, so call them SN1, SN2, SN3, dot, dot, dot. So call the first dominant term Sn1, the second one Sn2, Sn3, dot, dot, dot. And I'm claiming that the sequence Snk works. So claim, so the subsequence Snk is decreasing. And why? It's literally just a definition of a dominant term because, for instance, Sn2 comes after Sn1, but because Sn1 is a peak, we have to have that this is smaller. So, why? Since, for instance, Snk is dominant, and Nk plus 1 is bigger than Nk, what we get is that Snk plus 1 is less than Snk. And therefore your sequence is decreasing. Okay, that's one thing, but then what's the other case? There are just finitely many dominant terms. Only finitely many. And this is really neat because we'll fail so badly 
at finding a decreasing subsequence that will actually find an increasing subsequence. So it's literally the most epic of all fails. Because what is going on? So suppose you only finitely many peaks. Like that. Like maybe there's a peak here and then a peak at you. Uh, so you have maybe something like that. So there are finitely many peaks and then there are no more peaks. Kind of like this. Sort of. And then here's what's happening. So then let's choose just, just choose N, SN1 that is after all those peaks. So, choose uh, N1 uh, so large such that there are no more peaks after SN1. Okay, we can do that because there are only finitely many terms. Now, why does that solve our problem? But look, because, well, SN1 is not dominant anymore, which means there's a term SN2 that's greater or equal to SN1. So since SN1 is not dominant, there is N2 bigger than N1 with Sn2, it's greater than Sn1. But because Sn2 is not dominant anymore, there is Sn3 with, that's greater than Sn2. There is, so N3 greater than N2 with Sn3, it's greater than Sn2. Etc. Etc. So even given Nk, you can find a term that's greater or equal to this. And interestingly, as I said, because you want it so badly to have a decreasing sequence, we actually get an increasing sequence of non-dominant terms. And in general, there is Snk plus 1, there's Nk plus 1 bigger than Nk, with SNK plus one, greater or equal to SNK. And then we're done. So uh, SNK is non-decreasing non and hence monotonic. So in both cases, we found a monotonic subsequence. All right, thank you very much.